Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for December 25th and 26th, Wednesday and Thursday for my Tauruses. Hello, my Tauruses. How are you? Well, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, I use my Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. The 26th is the new moon, and it's very, very strong eclipse energy. So, you know, full moon to new moon, release, get rid of it. New moon to full moon, request. And the fact that we have this eclipse over this, it will actually um, strengthen and make this a little bit more lasting. Now, it does close up the stuff that started six months prior, but... This now brings new energy for going forward. Okay, so let's go on and cut the cards, see what we have for my Tauruses. And one, two, and three. Remember, I'm an intuitive channeler, so what that means is I open myself up to my higher power, spirit, and whatever wants to come, whatever the words are, the message is, it just comes on out. Three cards face down, the first and the third are reversed. Reversed cards to me are, pay a little more attention, okay? So let's go see what we have for my Tauruses. Here we go. First card is the King of Raphael. Oh, Raphael is about, in this deck, is about water, energy, fluid, and emotional, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And the King, I, you know, this is warmth, this is love, this is relationship, this is this is almost like a, a natural high, okay? So Wednesday, Thursday is, you know, this is like a natural high in your emotions. This is like, yes, 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 I can do everything. I can do anything. Really, I'm, I'm feeling very, you know, I'm feeling just this lightness of spirit. I'm feeling this joy. I'm feeling this bubbling, you know, this bubbling over type of energy for you. Now, that, you know, that's going to be very relatable to others, so let it out. It's almost a little bit uncomfortable for my Tauruses because it does bring a vulnerability to you, um, you know, but it, it again, but it's like, you know, it, it, it's, it's joyful. It's very, very joyful energy here. So warm, generous, honorable, and refined. Yes, it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. So that, you know, the creative passions are, is something that's kind of, you know, pulling me there too. I mean, it's, you know, it, it, it's that right brain, left brain, you know, the one side of the brain is more logical, the other side is more creative, and it's kind of like, now is that the left side of the brain? Can't remember, but it, it's kind of like letting that creative side of the brain come out and play, okay? And it's letting that creative side about of you come out and play. And that's the thing. I feel like this is, you know, you, you bringing out that, that playful nature that you have. Again, you know, many times my Taurus is you can be very, very focused, but this is, this is that, that playful, mischievous side of you that you don't even show, you don't even know, you don't even see that so much. So it can make you feel a little vulnerable. Okay. Next card the five of Gabriel. Gabriel is fire energy. It is um, Aries, Leo, uh, Sagittarius, passionate and burning energy. And this is about, you know, fives are about change. So what, maybe whatever this is all about, this, you know, this, you know, excitable, playful, very optimistic type of energy. <laughs> that, and I guess that's the thing. It's very optimistic. This is you pulling in your resources. This is you pulling in the people that can help. This is about the people that can help you actually reaching out to you too. And maybe that's why you're feeling so optimistic because you're getting a plan. The plan is coming out. The plan is being set. The plan is now being seen, okay? If there was a, it was a nebulous type of, um, you know, of energy you know, and, and you, you've been focusing, 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 and I feel like this is you, you know, whatever this change might be bringing about, and it's going to be this Wednesday, Thursday, it's going to bring you about, it's going to bring about a more focused change, okay? So, this is a challenge you can resolve, withdraw from the drama of others, have patience with yourself and those around you. 
Now, that the patience with yourself and those around you kind of click with me because others may not be moving as fast as you want them to move. So have patience, have patience. This one also reversed. The six of Michael. Michael is your air energy, your intellect, your, what, your thought processes. Um, you know, this is um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is also about news. So here it is. This is, you know, this is about hearing that news. So, you know, it's almost like it should be, you hear news, you know, there's people helping you, and you're having just a really great, you know, it, it makes you happy, okay? That's like the short version. It's almost like it's a little bit backwards here, but it, it's, or it could even be, you know, maybe it's not backwards. Here it is. You know, you, you feel joyful, you feel positive, your, your, your thoughts and your words are going out positive to that universe. There are people helping you, and because of that, you're going to hear news, okay? So maybe that's more the case of this too. So Michael is, it's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. That's interesting, that relocation, and not necessarily travel, but that re the word relocation kind of clicks something. So, you know, there could be, you know, again, you know, you may have to, uh, somebody living out of hotels for a while, um, not be, you know, when I hear travel, when I hear travel, it's more like you're traveling more for your, more for fun. It could be business too, it could be business, but relocation, I feel like somebody's going to be living, so there's going to be more than one someone living out of hotels because of whatever this news is. You're, you're not going to be doing this Wednesday and Thursday. You're going to be hearing about this. Okay? Okay. So my Taurus is, if you celebrate Christmas, I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. If you don't, have a wonderful, blessed day. But my Taurus is, if you enjoyed my reading, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and click on the bell. But as always, my Taurus is, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.